Good morning. It has been such a long time since I recorded anything, mainly because I um, just didn't feel like it, if I'm being honest. Um, I could have did some cleaning videos. I could have did some um, virtual teaching videos from home, but it is what it is. So if you are new here, my name is Cherie. I am a third grade teacher um, in Germany. Um, and today is the first day that teachers are allowed to go back into the classroom to get ready for the upcoming school year. So um, I'm pretty sure you all know like how things are and how most teachers feel about going back to school in times such as these. Um, but I will say our situation here in Germany is a little bit different. Um, we kind of listened um, when they said wear a face mask and the Prime Minister here, Merkel, she said that we, we were wearing face masks um, when we went out in public and that's everybody did. Um, so, things here are a little bit better. Are they great? No. Um, do I think we are ready to go back to school? Personally, I think we're okay, but the stipulations that they put on us for our classrooms, I think it's a little bit unrealistic. Um, I don't know how they think we're going to social distance up to 20 children now granted the parents do do have or they did have the option to either do virtual school or in-person school um, I talked to one parent uh, the other day and she was just basically voicing her concerns and I think she's going to do virtual school for both her two children so I don't know we don't know our class size yet uh, we usually cap out at 20 and last I checked which was um, towards the end of last school year I had 16 for this upcoming school year um, but I don't know of those 16 who are going to opt to do virtual school so we just don't know um, so hopefully today when I go in we'll figure that out and today we are, we have um, I think today and tomorrow we have movers in our building that the school hired and those movers are going to get whatever furniture we don't want out of our classrooms oh and I will say this so we moved buildings so the school that I was in last school the past two school years has been a elementary middle school middle school is gone so now we're just purely elementary and so the building or the side of the building that I was in is getting torn down and so everybody who was in that building moved over to where the middle school was so I have a new classroom so I don't know if you seen my old classroom before I think I can put a video link so you can see what it looked like um, it was like an odd shaped classroom if I can get down there today I, I can probably show you but I don't know so yeah so the classroom that I'm in now is on the third floor of the building I was on the first floor the last two years and the room is a perfect square the only downside is is that I only have two bulletin boards whereas in my old classroom I had a whole wall of bulletin board um, so that's different but other than that um, I think everything is going to be okay. I had tables in my classroom, but I think I'm going back to desk, which I hate. So, yeah. So, that's that. So, I'm going to, I think I'm going to stop and get me some breakfast. It is 8.13 right now. We didn't have a time to come in or anything. We just pretty much just come in whenever. So, I'm going, I think I'm going to stop and get me something to eat. Then head to the classroom. And I will see you all when I get there. Okay, so as you can see, I made it into my classroom. I'll flip the camera around to show you, that's bad lighting, to show you what it looks like now. Um, I wasn't able to go to my old classroom because the door was locked, so you can see that. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what it looks like now, and I'll check back in once I get Okay, so this is the view from the door of the classroom. And so this bookshelf belongs across the hall, but this is all of my things that came from my old classroom. I still have tables, which I think I'm going to keep because we were told we can keep our tables um, because we don't have to have all the kids set tables. We can have them set on the floor. Pretty much we can do flexible seating. So I have a row of windows. That's my whiteboard. And then we have ceiling fans. I didn't have ceiling fans in my old classroom, but I'm grateful that I do in this classroom. And then I have a wall of shelving, the uh, bottom, and then I have at the top. So I'm going to start getting things unpacked. I think what I'm going to do first 
sorry I had a message on my phone so I think I'm on my watch so I think what I'm going to do first is probably move the tables where I want them to be and then start stacking the boxes on top of the tables to put everything away I think so yeah I'm gonna get started with that now and oh, I need to eat and I know my food is cold but that's okay so I'm gonna eat first then move tables then I'm back okay so it is 11 18 I figured um, I can go back in and should come back and check back in with you all so you can see the progress that I've made I know I'm hot I'm sweaty so yeah um, I think I've been working for like two hours and I think I started at like 9 30 and so it's 11 18 now so I'll just pan around and show you everything that I've gotten done so far okay so right now I'm standing in front of the windows so this is my little area so I have my desk pushed against the wall and then I have my small group table here um, this gives me the most floor space that I put in my desk against the wall. So I have that there. Um, and then if you can tell, I'll step back in this little nook. But this space is completely clear and I do have more room than I thought I did. Um, so I'm going to move the tables where I want them to go. And that's my carpet area, my smart panel, then I have the cow there. And then those, I'm gonna clean up those shelving and that's going to be my student mailboxes. And then I'm going to put all my math manipulatives here. And then this is going to be my library area. And then I started putting curriculum that wasn't in boxes in this cabinet. So I think this is gonna be all like my reading stuff because I do have a lot more reading. And I think I'm going to put math in here. And then these, this middle cabin, I'm going to put like the community supplies. Now, the kids can't share supplies, but this will be like their replenishment. If they run out of pencils or markers, that'll go in this middle cabin here. Then the next cabinet, I'm going to put like um, miscellaneous things like game boards and like my arts and crafts and stuff. And then that cabinet is my closet. So yeah, this is where we are. Then I'm gonna take a break, sit down and make it to do it okay so it is two o'clock and i'm done for today it's like really hot we don't have any air conditioning in this building although i do have ceiling fans it's not doing very much so i'll turn the camera around and show you what i got done it looks like i didn't get a lot done because i still have a lot of boxes but i did get quite a bit done so i'll turn the camera around and show you okay so right now i'm standing in my teacher area so like my where my desk and my small group table is that's my door um this is the mess that i have left to do um i still have like two things in that box but other than that pretty much empty so i have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen boxes left to do um so i put out book bins for the kids to keep their library books in because they have um, the pockets for the chairs. These boxes are empty and then all the boxes under the table are empty too. I need to break them down. I will eventually, I got some of my math manipulatives out. That bottom box, no, not that box. I have another box somewhere, but I don't know where it is. And then this is where I'm going to keep my math games. And then my library, I switched around this shelf with that shelf because I have two lamps that are going to go over there because the plug is behind there and then those are some library books those are like chapter books um, and then this is all of my reading curriculum I have three more boxes to go and I got some of the classroom supplies in there not very many but of the box that I opened I put that away and then I have games here that's like treasure box stuff that crate up there has uh, Halloween stuff that has more Halloween stuff and then that box has um, it's, it's empty but my monitor for my computer was in that box so yeah so I'm pretty much done for the day and I'll be back tomorrow tomorrow I'm gonna come in at like maybe 11 because I want to go to the post office and that opens up at 10 so that's what I'm going to do I'm getting ready to go home go to the grocery store and then take a hot shower because it's needed and then i'll see you tomorrow all right today is classroom i don't want to say set up because i'm not really setting up i guess i kind of am but um 
we moved buildings and i think i said this yesterday but we moved classrooms so i'm just unpacking boxes right now um and trying to get everything in the cabinets and get everything organized so this week i'm solely focusing on the organization part of my classroom and then next week i'm going to do the decorating part of it so yeah so i don't know if you can hear but they're doing construction right across from my house like i can turn the camera around and show you but i mean whatever and they're in the park i guess they're building a new playground structure i don't know but anywho if you hear that that noise in the background that's what that is so yeah so anywho so i'm on my way to my classroom right now it is 9 7 i decided to go in late because i got a lot of stuff done yesterday and because my body was aching by the time i got home so today i'm going to stay until two o'clock again i think i brought lunch i'm not gonna have breakfast this morning um so yeah so i'm on my way to my classroom and i'll see you when i get there all right so as you can tell i am in my classroom now it is 10 45 so i've been here quite a while but i was talking to one of my other co-workers who's here and we were just talking about the school year and my transition out so I don't know if I said this but I am a military spouse and we are PCSing which means we're leaving Germany to go to um, another city so pretty much we're coming back to the States so we are leaving here in November so I'll only be here from September October and November so I'll be here for three months and then I'll transition out so I was talking to the instructional coach and so we made a plan for her to come into my classroom to see how I do things with my kids and then that way she can help whomever comes into this position uh, with how things are run so that was pretty much what that discussion was so I'm going to start with this cabinet and finish with the reading curriculum I am going to get um, our grade levels reading curriculum to sort through um, and that is because I am the grade level chair for third grade so a lot of those responsibilities kind of fall on me which is okay I mean I don't mind but I'm going to get this stuff taken care of and then make room for the other curriculum that's coming in so that it's all stored here so that's what I'm going to do first and then I'm going to move on to this other cabinet here no yeah there that has all of the community supplies for the kids so I'm gonna put you down oh I did bring my my tripod today yesterday I didn't have my tripod but I have it today so I'm gonna set that up and then get to work <laughs> Sinking deeper every day And lately I am missing my reflection And every muddy puddle on the pavement Driving every thought into distortion
Okay, so I finished up my supply closet and I'll turn around and show you that. And then I'll also show you uh, the curriculum that I already put up. And I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think maybe 10 boxes to go. So it's not very much. Everything else is pretty much empty, but I'll turn around and show you what I got done in my cabinets. Okay, so here is my supplies. There's a plane flying overhead. So, that's that. So you can see I have pins. Pins are there. Then highlighters, glue, liquid glue. And then I have extra crayons. Those are all of the markers that were loose. And then I have other markers here. And then these are up front. I have my multicultural uh, colors. And then back here I have other colors. That's a big pack. And then here are my dry erase markers, extra color pencils, and then I have scissors, unsharpened pencils, pencils that are still in the pack, and then sharpened pencils, and then loose leaf paper, and then this bin back here is um, scissors. And then I'll show you my reading closet. So up top is actually all the curriculum that I, I use except for I don't use these are the teacher manuals here and then everything from here that way I kind of don't use I use some of this sometimes but it's all online so I can print it from there versus pulling out the book and then making copies and then all of these are my level readers for guided reading that's our that is uh, reader theater and then here are at the bottom are all of the student books they're called magazines so what well, we call them magazines um but the kids each child gets one of these and then they can write in and annotate um yeah all that jazz and at the bottom is the uh extra stuff that we have for like interventionists to use if they need to and that's our old bass assessment kit but uh we were told we can hang on to it so i'm keeping mine and then in this cabinet is where I have my math curriculum is here and then I have another plane if you can hear I don't know and then I have all of my science teacher books here are our test dividers social studies and health and I'm gonna put the science textbooks here and then I still have these two bottom shelves empty I'm going to stop where I am right now to eat I didn't um, eat breakfast this morning but I do have lunch. I did eat some grapes, so I didn't go completely hungry. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to request another table and see if I can get one. Then that way I have at least 12 spots. And then I think my cap is 14 kids, I think. But I'm not sure. We won't get our full list until Friday. So I think I'm going to ask for another table to put in this middle spot here and that way I have at least 12 spots for them to actually sit at a table and then if kids want to work at the carpet they can work at the carpet if they want to work in the back library area they'll be able to work back there as well and then that way we can at least spread out but yeah I'm gonna heat up my food and then I'm going to eat okay so I finished eating <clears throat> and so what I think I'm going to do next is work on my classroom library because I don't have that many books and the reason why is because all of my personal books, which filled up my classroom library, or not necessarily filled up because I had too many books for the space, but all of those books are at home because we're leaving and I didn't feel it was necessary to keep those books here and then pack them back up at the end of October so that the movers can come and pack them back up. So I'm going to pack up, well, put out the chapter books that I do have. And then for this shelf here, I usually get books from our library, our school library. And those are just uh, picture books that I usually put out for different seasons. So I'll get like some back to school books to put there. And then I'll trade them out for, I don't know what's next, like Labor Day or something. I don't know. And then I may get some books about um, boating because that's our first unit for reading for reading is uh, government so I may get some books <clears throat> from that and put to put there as well so but I'm going to unpack the two boxes that I have for my books for my library and then sit those out
Okay, so I am officially done for the day with my classroom. I'll turn the camera around so you can see what exactly I got done and what else I have left to do. You can kind of see like the cabinets because I have them open. Um, but I'll go through each cabinet and show you what I got done for today. Um, I only have one, two, five boxes left to go through and I broke my nail. But that's okay, I have an appointment on Saturday. But anywho, so I have a box that has student binders in it, a box that has all of my bulletin board stuff in it, and then I have three boxes that has like my binders, my teacher curriculum, stuff like that, and file folders. I had to go downstairs to our supply room to get um, the large hanging file folders because it's a file cabinet that I have this year is a little bit wider than the one I had last year so I'm just going to transfer all of those files from there to the other file cabinet if that makes sense and I'll do that tomorrow but yes yeah, so I'll show you everything I got done today and then I'll see you tomorrow so I'll start back here at the math um, where the math notes are so I've got all of that done today and then I'm just going to print um, new labels that are the size of the cap of the container so that it fits perfectly and I have one container at home so I can do the measurements for that and then this is my library area and I put the books down there I'll go to the, to the library to see if she has any other books I can put but that's that and then I have my first cabinet which has the social studies health science books now these two books the social studies and health they're outdated so i don't use those at all but we have to keep them until we get something new so those will stay there and then once i get my final numbers i'll put out the FOSS books that's my FOSS curriculum and then the test dividers that we use then this is um for our go math it's like a grab and go like math center thing but i very rarely use that and then those are my teacher books and then those are some resource books and then my judy clock and then under here i just have um some steve spangler science stuff and then some rock salt for ice cream and then here you already saw this is all my reading curriculum for the year and then the bottom is just extra stuff and then i put those books that i'm not going to put in my library down at the bottom in that bin so those will stay there, and if the new teacher who's coming in in November wants to use them, she can. If not, we have to, what's called a DRMO, then we can't just throw them out or recycle them. And that's my old basket. And then here is the cabinet with all of my um, school supplies. So we have pens, highlighters, liquid glue, crayons, uh, rulers, then loose markers, markers on the boxes. These are all of my dry erase markers, cover pencils. Then scissors, unsharpened pencils, pencil still in the pack, sharpened pencils, loose leaf paper, and then I put my art stuff here. So I have my shaving cream that we used to make slime with, and then that's salt and cream of tartar that we used to make Play-Doh with. And what is this? Oh, that's glitter, yarn, and pipe cleaners, and then paint. I know you're thinking like third grade while we're making Play-Doh, but we usually do Play-Doh when we do fractions, so they have to take, use the measurements and then this cabinet has that's just the box for my monitor and that's like a Christmas decoration that's mostly stuff for Halloween when we do our games that's like all my treasure box stuff I put napkins here um, and that has like some Halloween stuff in it like plastic teeth stuff like that and then I have like 
toilet tissue that we used to do like the mummy wrap game and then here are all of my games that are there and then I put the Kleenex in here because I'm not climbing up at the top shelf to do that to get it down so it's there and then in this cabinet which I need to clean that off has all of like my plates cups utensils that we used to eat lunch with and I just have hangers here and then under here is my cleaning stuff and then I have uh, like some plastic wrap plastic baggies and foil down there and then I'm going to use that area as my student mailboxes how they'll turn in work and then I'm going to put something there for like Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday work for them to just grab out um, you saw the cow I moved the printer that's the printer that came from my third grade pod so that's there and then my interactive flat panel and then my area and then I have like my students book bins up top and dictionaries and then these things these are my whiteboards and then their park practice guys they're going to stay there until I bring in their um, pockets for the back of their chairs and then each student will get one and then back is the printer that was in this classroom and then my stem stuff that needs to get cleaned up and put away and then we're back so I still have left to do is break down these boxes I'm going to take two boxes home to start off with and then I'll bring some more home as well so that is it for today and I'll see you tomorrow <laughs>